Maybe they're two and three or three and three. Two and three. All right. Uh, yeah, this is this is interesting. Red, we need revenge against Red. Reinfo oh, okay, so we're back on Boros. Yeah, do I want a Faithful Mend here? Kinda do. Okay, so that's interesting. So Ottawara probably goes in the bin, and maybe... Oh, I don't want to put this in the bin, too. I hate doing Beseju as well. Maybe Aether Channeler. Because <clears throat> can, we can just... Rebirth it if we need to, an instant speed. It's kind of a good thing to have rebirth. Um, so we're gonna play, we're gonna play this and then Titania. It will be really annoying though if, if they happen to like, well, I can't think of what this deck plays that would, we're totally not blocking if they just bash with everybody. Oh, what is this? In this case, I might block. Oh, well. <laughs> They're not attacking, so there you go. So here's Argoth. Uh, there are definitely circumstances that could allow us to get where we want to go next turn. Um, although I, I have a feeling what we really want is just a board wipe again. It's, it's very much, the, I mean, it is the same deck we played against a minute ago, aside from I don't know if they had a bear there. Argivian Recruiter. There's War Leader's Call. Um, yeah, there's there's nothing I can... Well, I mean, I can just besage you it. Which would make for, like, a nice... Huh. Well. I'll block one. Uh... Maybe I don't even care about Besage doing it right now. Let's let's see what we hit here. Okay, so there's a D-pop. Um, there's a land in the bin. There's a land in the bin. But I think I want to keep um, Besage for War Leader's Call. I just don't want to end up losing to that. Um, so we're going to dump these guys. And a little life. Sage will end up hitting the bin anyway to this thing. Gain some more life. We have Cosmic Rebirth for Titania. I wonder if they have like a, a Convoke spell or something. Where they just didn't want to lose the Resolute Reinforcements or the Etching. I guess they're continuing to get soldiers off of that, so it's not the worst. Uh, do I board wipe here, or do I want to just keep letting them hang out? Because uh, I could Faithful Mend, dumping this Restless Vine stock, get everything back next turn. Um, or I could Depop and then Cosmic Rebirth. I'm going to wait. I kind of think there's not much reason not to wait. Like, hopefully they just commit more stuff to the board. Uh, this is this dude that, like, flips over... Um, okay. Yeah. He's annoying, that's for sure. Some Convoke action. Please Convoke out a big dude that I can board wipe. Hmm. Okay. So we'll... Faithful Mending. Okay, we probably just dump both of these because we'll get to play them both. They'll both come back. Some life. 
So Titania, we got all these lands back. Unfortunately, uh, Titania is not going to be that big. Um, so they can just block, kind of like what happened last game. <clears throat> and now we'd have to like refill the the, the yard, but I think we're going to do this anyway. We just hope that our hand is better than their hand after. Hmm. The blocks. All right. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I th I guess in this case I may consider like cosmic rebirthing just to bounce it to dude or something. I don't, know, I don't know what our opponent's up to, so... Soakens in. Okay. I like the potential to... If they, like, I don't know, go for some crazy... They're definitely getting board wiped the next turn. Um... In which case, yeah, okay. I'm not not bringing dude back in now. Um, I don't even know if I want to faithfully mend now. Don't know how good Oracle of Tragedy is even after the fact. So maybe I do faithfully men now. Okay, so we'll dump Oracle of Tragedy. And probably the wall. Oh, Rona or Slogurk here. I think I'd rather play Slogurk. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and then the Rona. I'd rather play Slogurk after, I think. I'm really not sure. Put Slogurk in the bin. Well, well that was nice, because we drew one. So we're going to bash, assuming a bunch of blockers, which is fine. Could be, oh, okay, no blockers. So we're gonna we're just gonna depop. They'll draw a card. We will not, alas. They'll get a dude from Sanguine Evangelists. But it's gotta be kinda hard for us to lose from this position. We can also let's see flash something back. Flash back a Malcolm. But uh, I think the play is just, let's just play a slow Gurk. No, I, I held back Rona. Rona, Rona technically uh, maybe wins easier the next turn. But it's just a much bigger mana commitment. Okay, so they could get a little dude off of this if they bash with the, the bivouac. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I'll just block the bivouac. Make dudes, it's fine. Okay. I th really just think the play here is fire up Restless Vine Stalk and Bash. These guys both have Trample, I think. Um, and we can technically... Um, Cosmic Rebirth, if they happen to have any sort of pump action, it looks like they're dead on board otherwise, but if they did, we, we could Cosmic Rebirth uh, our bouncy dude and let the trample damage get through, so. Alright, yes, of course we had fun. But I, I, th I think we're 3-3 <laughs> three and three, an hour and a half into into this. I think we're 